there were a couple of cars that I saved for a rainy day. That's what I like to call it. Because it's basically in the use of what that term usually means, you know, save it for a rainy day. Something you could do when there's not much else to do, like if it's raining, you can't do much, do whatever. And, yeah, there are cars that I basically saved for a rainy collecting day. Not literally when it was raining out, but there are these certain cars that last year, in 2017, I just didn't pick up. I Maybe either I didn't like them, or I just wanted to wait it out. And among those cars were Ponchi Wipeout, Tiny Lugsworth, Red, not, uh, actually, no, not Red. I mean, Cars 3 Mac and Tommy Highbanks. I bought Tommy on sale, and if you guys remember my amazing original review where, I mean, basically, you see, it was late December 2017, and I was bound, I knew I was bound to find some 2017 cars, so, uh, sorry, 2018 cars sometime soon, and I didn't think anybody really wanted to see a review of an early 2017 car, especially not an unboxing review, because I got him really late, because again, I was just holding him off. And so, because that was a day where I went to a store and I found, like, I think, either 9, or, like, 8, 9, 10, or 11, I'm not quite sure, but anywhere in that range of cars. I found that many cars on that day, and one of those was Tommy Highbanks, who I just bought because there was some sale. And, yeah, uh, to make it more exciting, I'd been filming reviews for the, probably the last hour. I decided to throw him out of the package. I just... I squeezed uh, the uh, the bubble and he just came right out. Uh, let's play some footage. I probably still have some footage right now. So yeah, I I am. Um, uh, I just wanted to mention that really funny story. So yeah, welcome back everybody to yet another review. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Tommy Highbanks, suggested by Chase Race a Lot Fan Twenty Four. Thank you so much for your suggestion, as always. And, uh, yeah. Suggestions are, of course, currently closed, so you cannot suggest a car for me to review. But, uh, I will be reopening them shortly. So, yeah, let's get started with the review. You can see mine does have a bit of a paint smudge there, which is a bit sad. So, yeah, you can see full-wheel drive dirt decals, which on Herb Kerbler has been changed to full-wheel drive extreme dirt decals. I love all this dirt design. You can even see a tire tread there. A little tire tread print. 54. I just love his green color. I used to not like this guy all that much, and that's why I was holding off on buying him. You can see this blue stripe turns into a skyline, and it looks really, honestly, beautiful. Piston cup, Vitaline, revolting, RPM, octane gain, sorry, nitrate, octane gain, and clutch aid there on the side. Number 54. This may or may not be a paint chip. Right there above those trees. Full wheel drive, dirt decals. Uh, that may be a paint chip, I'm saying. You can see all these trees, as well as the arrow for the pitties to operate on him, and a bunch of black dots. I just love how this guy looks. He literally just looks like the logo for a, for a outdoors store, outdoors company. And, uh, yeah. And you have more tire treads on the roof, and you can see uh, that these, I just noticed this now. These treads carry on down to the hood here. Those are the treads on the hood. Or the well, the tracks on the hood are the tracks up here. Just continued. 54 foot wheel drive dirt decals with some dirt splashed up onto the back. Obviously a dirt decal. Four wheel drive dirt decals for urban SUVs. Four wheel drive dirt decals. 54 and even more of these dirt decals. So yeah, there's the base and the other side's basically the same. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And before we go, before I say I'll see you next time, uh, I guess it's become a tradition at this point. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.